This should be a good one. David Proa out of Sigala's Boxing Club is a kid we've seen here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour, and he can really box. And his opponent, Francisco Quintana, representing South San Jose Community Center Boxing Club. Uh, Quintana in the white shirt, David Proa in the red. Dan Cisneros at ringside, and you're watching the 8-Count Boxing Hour. This should be a good one. David Proa can can move and he's got a little bit of pop. I haven't, I'm not real familiar with Francisco Quintana, although he lands a good right hand and he has Proa now backing up. David Proa is a slick boxer fighting for Sigala's boxing. And we've seen him before and he's been very impressive. There you see with a one, two, and he follows with that big right hand and he's got some pretty good pop for an amateur kid. These guys are in the 75 pound, 10 and 11 year old division. Both of these guys look pretty advanced. Some nice boxing going on here. Francisco Quintana on the hunt, moving forward against Proa, trying to track him down. And that ends round one. So round two underway, you're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Thanks for joining us tonight, everybody in Albuquerque and around the country on our sister stations on public access television. So much fun to bring you these bouts. And thank you to Jorge Casanova for inviting us down. And right now, Francisco Quintana and David Proa. Quintana's the man on the hunt. He's moving in, but David Proa's the guy who's moving, giving a little bit of movement here, a lot of movement, actually. And he, oh, he misses with a right hand there. He's trying to catch Quintana coming after him. And Francisco Quintana doing a good job of staying on balance and, and not, you know, not overstepping himself a little bit here. He's taking small short steps, trying to track down the elusive David Proa. Neither of these kids has been hurt in this one. Nobody's been down. Been a pretty good match so far, pretty even, I should say. We expected Proa maybe to have an edge in power and hand speed, but uh, that is not the case. Francisco Quintana, good looking little boxer, and that ends round two. As we look into the corner of Francisco Quintana, Jake Valencia working with him. Trying to get him to stay calm, stay on balance. He's tracking down David Proa, doing a good job of it. Now we look over into the other corner. David Proa fighting for Sigala's boxing, and he is a good one. Both of these young men look like good uh, little boxers to keep your eye on. Boxing coming to you from Alp. Okay, we're just ready to start round three, third and final round. Dan Cisneros at ringside bringing you the boxing action of the Duke City. David Proa and Francisco Quintana here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. And now you see Quintana moving in and Proa moving away, but he continues to finish with that big right hand. He's trying to land that one. Quintana just, <laughs> he does not stop coming forward. Proa's hard to catch, and when you catch him, he might sting you, so you gotta really be careful. And Francisco Quintana doing a good job. This is a close match. Both guys, there's a right hand from Proa. The crowd behind Francisco Quintana here in his home gym. And that ends the third and final round. This one's gonna go to a decision, and it's close. I could see it going either way. We'll see what the judges come up with. So 
we wait on the judge's decision. David Proa pulls out a close one. Congratulations to David and a good job by Francisco Quintana. Thank you. 